What's up everyone and welcome to Jakeonomics. My name is Jay and it's a pleasure to meet all of you. On this channel, we take a look at anything related to finance with a strong focus on investing. So if that sounds like something you want to be a part of, then please consider subscribing and liking this video to help me on my quest to befriend the big, bad YouTube algorithm. What's up everyone and welcome back to the channel. On Sunday, I gave you one of my under-the-radar, undervalued picks set for explosive growth, Fans Unite Entertainment, ticker symbol FANS on the CSE and ticker FUN FF on the OTC. Well, yesterday, FANS popped off 30% at one point and then settled down around the 35 cent range, with lots of runway left in my opinion. I also told you that I had spent the whole weekend researching companies to find the next CloudMD that can exponentially grow my money. In this episode, I will share the second of three stocks that I found. I believe this one is also grossly undervalued and although presents risk, the sky is the limit for this fintech company. So what is this explosive stock? Before we get into it, anyone who isn't currently part of the Smart Money Squad on our Discord server, you should go join right now. Lots of good dialogue and content in there. The link is in the description below. We'll also be posting on Instagram regularly now, so as well, hit up at Jakeonomics with a follow on IG. So make that thumbs up turn blue and subscribe if you're new, it really does help the channel grow. And now without further ado, let's get into the video. Just a few weeks ago, Chinese fintech behemoth Ant Group, formerly Alipay, founded by Alibaba founder Jack Ma, was set for the largest IPO in history on the Hong Kong and Shanghai exchanges. Ant is valued at $313 billion, which would make it the fourth largest financial company in the world. However, things did not go according to plan as Chinese regulators postponed the IPO due to listing conditions and or disclosure requirements. The fact that this even happened proves that China is keeping its tech companies in check. What Ant Group has accomplished, however, in the Chinese fintech space has slammed the doors wide open on opportunity within that space. Enter Peak Fintech. Peak Fintech Group, which trades under the ticker symbol PKK on the CSE and ticker PKKFF on the OTC. So, a little bit about the business. They are headquartered in Montreal, Canada, but operate in China. Peak matches micro, small, and medium-sized businesses with lending institutions and collects a fee for completed transactions. They use technology, analytics, and AI to create an ecosystem of lenders, borrowers, and other participants in China's commercial lending space, where lending operations can be conducted safely, efficiently, and with peak transparency. Peak's market cap right now is just under $100 million Canadian and their price to sales ratio is at, wait for it, a ridiculously low 4.49, which is insanely cheap, especially in the fintech space. This company in this sector, in the Chinese market, has immense, now immense growth potential. But it's not only Peak's story that gets me excited as an investor. The numbers are mind-blowing as well. So first of all, if we take a look at their current ratio, which is current assets over current liabilities, uh, this right off the bat tells me that they are in a solid financial standing with a 2.24. But this is where it gets good. Peak's platform now has lending products from 54 different banks and lending institutions and operates in seven cities with plans to expand into several more cities by the end of 2020. Now, despite the illness and this very uncertain time, Peak reported revenue growth of 293% for the first half of 2020 and cut its losses to common shareholders by $422,000. Its adjusted EBITDA for the first half was $348,000 compared to with $318,000 a year ago. 
Since its launch in 2018, it has grown to a $29 million revenue run rate and is targeting $40 million in annual revenues and $4 million in EBITDA in 2020. Compared to its fintech peers who trade at an average of 13.8 times enterprise value to 2020 estimated revenues, Peak is currently trading at only 5.4 times, using fully diluted shares. As Peak continues to execute their vision, and as they become more of a household name, this valuation gap has a great chance to close. Now why is Peak actually needed? With over 100 million small businesses in China, most of which struggle to access credit, Peak is the solution by providing a system that automates the process by which banks and other lenders can quickly determine whether or not a small business meets their credit criteria. Peak is business to business, meaning that consumers cannot provide funds on the platform. All lenders are banks or financial institutions. Peak typically earns service fees ranging from around 1% to around 4% of the value of the credit amounts it helps facilitate, and this represents a total market opportunity of up to $1.35 billion in annual revenue potential. Now what's great for the lender is that if they are using Peak, they are able to evaluate loans in minutes and reduce the efforts needed in analysis as well as in sales and marketing to find the borrower. What are the main characteristics that make a business an explosive one? Scalability, efficiency, convenience, and transparency. CloudMD has all of them, and so does Peak. So let's compare Peak to Ant. Now, Peak is not aiming to be Ant, but they do have a very large space to operate in. In terms of similarities between the two companies, they both provide complementary services to assist consumers, small businesses, and entrepreneurs access the credit they need and to look after their financial interests. In terms of how they differ, while Ant Group services are geared towards consumers, as mentioned earlier, Peak Fintech is business to business. Another major difference between the two companies is that while Ant Group itself provides most of its services, thus making it subject to stricter government regulations, Peak Fintech is actually purely a technology platform and acts more as a broker for the loans and services provided by third parties. This is a very important point, and you can understand why just based on what just happened with the Ant IPO. The point is, the lending market is massive and growing in China, and there is lots of room for Peak to not only operate, but expand quickly to help entrepreneurs and small to medium-sized enterprises. Peak has been expanding its ecosystem to serve online merchants and hopes to eventually partner with China's largest e-commerce portals. The company is also looking at the possibility of expanding its services beyond China's borders at some point in the future. Now, but back to China. Given all the macroeconomic factors in China, I just don't see a scenario where Peak does not experience significant revenue growth in the next few years. The Chinese economy, like many other countries, is built on a huge amount of debt. So consequently, the lending industry should continue to boom for years to come as China seeks to get their economy back on track. So let me conclude with this. If you are planning on investing in the Ant IPO, through Peak Fintech, you may very well be looking at the next best thing with a chance at explosive gains in the world's largest and fastest growing fintech market. So what am I doing? Well, I currently own 1,000 shares of Peak at $1.30 Canadian. Of course, this stock does bring geopolitical risk and that will never fully go away. But as things stand, I feel comfortable with this amount invested and I would not be surprised at all if this is a $3 stock by this time next year. So that wraps it up for today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and that it gave you a good insight into a very interesting growth company. Let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are on this space and if you're invested into peak fintech. 
And guys, if this video brought you some value, then please smash that like button for me as it really does help the channel a lot. And if you want more content like this, then don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell to be notified when any new video comes out. And of course, please feel free to join our Smart Money Squad Discord server. And until next time, take care and invest smart.